Scrappy Friends on YouTube. I know it's been a while, but things are winding down for me as we get ready for the holiday season in my little corner of the world. So I thought I'd share a video with you. This is week 43, so back in um, October, toward the end of October. And so just to start off, you see I already have my photos selected. It was a pretty busy weekend and a pretty typical week for us and so most of this week's spread is about the weekend chaos that we call our life and so I picked up a few um, random kits studio calico was having a sale on just miscellaneous kits you didn't know what you were gonna get so I purchased a few of those including um, a scrapbooking kit from studio calico with 12 by 12 paper so you see here, I'm going to in slice that 12 by 12 sheet of paper up and actually incorporate it onto a four by six um, project life card, a white project life card. So just going to adhere that down to the four by six card, um, something that I haven't done in a long time. I don't know about you, if you've switched from 12 by 12 scrapping to project life, you may still have a large stash of 12 by 12 paper. I know I do. I'm hoarding it for some unknown reason, perhaps a zombie apocalypse. And um, <laughs> I don't use it often, but I thought this new paper was fun and I would give it a try. So I also have, that is a, I think Studio Calico 3x4 card. And I wanted to just tone down the um, design a bit. And so on the bottom half, I went ahead and added just a little bit of white to that card. And I'm going to round the corners again. And so I like that a bit more. And so this is pretty much a black and white themed layout. Um, some of the photos are black and white and a few do have a splash of color, particularly that one at the bottom on the right hand side with my son um, completing his first 5k woohoo um, the whole family joined in actually it's my first 5k as well so that was really fun I played around with the couch to 5k app over the years but never actually um, participated in a 5k so we all pretty much ran slash mainly walked it <laughs> but we did and that was cool to do it as a family so, of course, I wanted to make sure that I journaled about that um, in this spread. So, let's see. What's up next? So, the photographs that I'm dealing with for this week. Um, this particular weekend, we had the 5K that we completed. And then, oddly enough, at that same day, we needed to head to D.C. to complete uh, a history assignment that my little guy um, was given by his history teacher. And he needed to visit two monuments, the um, Jefferson Monument and the uh, Mason, um, George Mason statue, both in the city not too far apart. And so although we were pretty exhausted after the 5K, we hopped in the car and headed to the city. And so I took photos um, of that visit and the monuments as well. And so I want to include that here. You see I have a little piece of this. It's like acrylic washi. It's not really washi tape. It's from one of the Allie Edwards um, story kits. And I've never used this stuff before. Um, but I was just going to stretch a little bit this week and decided to find a way to incorporate it. And so you see I added just a little bit of that pale blue color, um, which I think works well. And... I'm also adding a bit of cork here behind the photograph. You've probably seen me do this before. In this case, I thought that the bottom half was going to not allow the photo to sit like flat. And so by adding just a touch of that cork, it popped up the whole photograph and it didn't seem kind of lopsided. But I do like using the cork because it's not as high as the dimensional um, kind of tape, which is a little bit too bulky, I think, for the Project Life um pockets i have used it occasionally but it does add quite a bit of bulk and so here again on the back of this little acrylic circle it was a clock and i placed a sticker on top of it i put a little bit of that cork again which just pops it up just ever so much um on top of the photograph so um just kind of moving around this spread again i've got the 
um, statue or the photos with the statues and memorials that I want to make sure I note. I have the one image that's in full color of my son crossing the finish line that I know I need to embellish just a bit. Not exactly sure what I want to do with that. And then I took a photo of my eldest son and husband standing on the steps of the Jefferson Memorial, which was really cool. And you can see the Washington Monument in the background and wanted to include that image as well. But not really sure at this point where I want to go in terms of embellishing the layout, the spread. It seems a little muted, a little dull. And so I'm looking for ways to incorporate pops of color at this point. So the other thing that happened this week is that my baby boy had been asking to dye his hair. We started with purple and then blue, and eventually um, he wanted white, but white was going to take me too many rounds of like bleaching his hair. So we ended up with blonde, <laughs> and you can't really tell it in the black and white except for up close, um, but it was really kind of funky. My husband was a bit um, concerned, but I reminded him, I mean, my son gets a haircut every two weeks. So this blonde hair only lasted two weeks and then it's all cut off anyway. So, um, he's young, he's a kid. He can play around and be a little bit funky and cool sometimes. So who knows? I might even let him go with some purple for two weeks. So that blonde, um, I thought with, in the yellow was really cool, right? And adds a nice pop of color with the black and white. So I decided to keep with that and to do the same thing by noting um, on that four by six card with the photograph um, that my husband and son are standing, you know, right there in front of the Jefferson um, Memorial. And then I liked adding that little um, arrow and it's a little orangey red. So I thought that added another little bit of color to this spread, which I was digging. So I decided to kind of go with that. It was unintentional. I didn't know that I was going to bring in yellow as the color. Um, but hey, you know, it's a process, right? So now I'm just going through some of my other options in terms of adding um, text to the spread. Not really sure what's next. And so on the bottom of this 3x4 card, I decided I don't want to add any more yellow um, in the text. So I'm going to go with a black for Mason. I didn't want to overdo it and overpower the spread with too much of the yellow. So Mason, he's kind of leaning right there on the Mason statue. And I'm trying to add this little and. Let's see if I can get that. The little sticky stuff pulled off and it wasn't working properly. So a little bit of a glue stick. And then I'm going to add a splash of red here. And that says you on the little red circular element. So now I've got you and Mason. So I liked adding that splash of red there. Now I'm trying to determine how I'm going to embellish um, this photograph with my son um, next to the oh so large Jefferson statue. And so I thought, here's a great way to add just a punch of red. And so that kind of gives me that triangle in terms of the eye and where the eye goes in terms of adding, right, three red elements to the layout. So looking again, all of these are chipboard pieces from either Allie Edwards or the Scraptastic kit. So now I'm thinking, ooh, maybe I want to add a little bit more red, right? So seeing if one of these printable labels will work well, not really sure. So while I'm pondering that, I'm going to trim down this 4x6 photo. Lately, what I am enjoying is having a little bit more white space around my photos, whether that's placing them on a 4x6 white card or on a 3x4 card. Um, that gives me space to embellish. Um, it gives a soft space for me, at least for the eye to rest. And so I just wanted to trim that photograph down just a tad, not much. And what I've decided is that I'm going to add a little bit more yellow here. And so I'm using the yellow printable label. And I've stepped away to go look for something. I'm not sure what. Looking at some more four by six cards. So what I've realized about myself is if I'm not certain, I'll kind of place something 
on a car, but I won't adhere it down and then I'll jump to something else. And then I'll see if it feels right. If it feels right, I'll come back and staple it or glue it down. If it doesn't feel right, then I'll try something else. So while I'm letting that kind of sit with me, I go back to the title card and I cut off that little pink piece that was initially on the 12 by 12 paper and I decide to add the 12 by um, the 4 by 6 Project Life card to this other, it's like a weird greeny yellow. Um, so it's not really a yellow, but it adds a little bit of color again to this otherwise pretty muted spread because it's black and white. So I'm going to use the label, but I'm going to make it smaller, but it's, I'm not convinced. So while I'm pondering that, I'm going to give some thought to my journal card. And so you see me draw a little circle, and I'm going to do a little bit of quick typing. I stepped away. You saw that. And so in my mind, I decided I was going to step out and live on the wild side, and I was going to stamp in the center of my journaling. Now, I put the little pa the pencil circle there so I could type around it. And so now what I want to do is use this stamp right there and then stamp one, one of the little images inside of that. And so you see I'm looking at it, trying to line it up just so. But here's the truth, my friends. I'm absolutely terrified. Like, I am terrified that I'm going to screw up, and then I'll have to start all over with the journaling. While that's not really that big of a deal, I just really didn't want to have to journal all over again. So you see, I'm just trying to see if I can get it just right, but I'm not completely convinced that I'll get it right, and then I would have messed it up. So then I decide, you know what, let me just do something that's a little bit safer. So yep, look what I end up doing. So that works too, and who knew the circle that I drew was right, was just spot on, and I didn't have to worry about a big oops. Um, and so that just says goals in the middle. And well, that works too. <laughs> so I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't stamp. Next time around, I probably should stamp first and then journal around it. And then that wouldn't be so scary. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. Okay. So next up, I do want to go ahead and include my week on the title card. And I start off with week 43. These two numbers. But eh, something about that just seemed incomplete. Like not substantial enough. Um, maybe because... The paper is so busy, it needed some more weight at the bottom to kind of hold um, the card. So I do what I normally don't do, or I decide to do something a little bit different for me, and that is to spell out weak. Um, I'm always hoarding my ease. And that stamped circle that I made, it didn't go to waste. No, instead I use it to ground the 43 which I think worked a little bit better so the 43 wasn't just kind of floating out there in space, right? And again, just a little bit of cork on the back to add a touch of dimension, but not too much. Yes, there we go. So I have this washi tape. Um, perhaps I'm the only one who has washi tape but doesn't use it a lot. It's a weird thing. I have stamps but don't use them a lot. I have washi tape but don't use them a lot. Um, it's funny how we tend to do the things, our go-to items in scrapbooking, but we have all this other junk or lovely embellishment, shall I say, that we should use more of. So anyway, um, also gonna use washi tape this time around. So it's black and white floral and just going to kind of Try to line up the flowers um, a bit so the design seems um, kind of consistent. Bending that around and then rounding the corners. I'm gonna cut the excess off. 
So, you know, using washi tape to just embellish a plain white card is a great thing to try out. I'll have to remember to do this more often. But what I realized is I went too far with the washi tape. I don't like how far up it went on the card. So I'm going to cut it, see if that works. That's about halfway. But even that seemed a little bit too much. I need to trim it a little bit more. So one more swipe with the trimmer, that feels better. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and stick the washi tape corner down onto a new three by four card. Cool beans. Okay. So what next? Now that card needs just a little bit of color. Ooh, red, yes. Yeah. So a little red heart. Again, pulling in that red. And I'm going to go with this shorter um, printable um, label and just say yes. The side of Silver Star is appropriate as well. Pop that on. There we go. And now I just need to add the dates for this week's spread. And this is October 24th through October 30th. I think I'm going to place a little enamel dot between the two dates. I often do that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this one again. So sorry. It's been a while. But I'm delighted to share with you and I'm wishing all of you just a wonderful holiday season. No matter what you celebrate, I hope you're able to do so with friends and family. And just be grateful for all of the wonderful gifts of health and love that we have. Until next time, bye and hugs.